The thing about this game, the thing that was special about this game is definitely all about the eggs. When the player is hit, pops out an egg. When you kill an enemy, they pop out an egg. You pick those up. Eggs are your hit points. Eggs also rain down from the sky to spawn the enemies. If an egg hits the lava, it spawns an enemy. So let's get started on doing the eggs. Let's start with bringing the egg graphics in. Let's do that. Boom. Let's put the eggs in. Uh, I'm going to rename these. These are the ones we ultimately used. I don't need to call them new anymore. And I don't want to keep the old ones around. Okay. Um, let me see. Do I want to throw them in with characters? Um, really, there's no reason not to just have them in the characters atlas. So let's just boink. Uh, give me something. And put the egg there. So all the eggs now are going to be in the basic atlas that I've called characters. It's kind of a misnomer at this point. It's just the global stuff, the stuff that's just always needed. And put it in the scene. So there's our egg. We're going to need a collider on it. I'm thinking a circle. That's pretty good. Maybe make it a little bit tighter. Let's create the egg script. There we go. Egg script. All right. The old egg script is right here. Uh huh. We had a list of all eggs. We could count the eggs. Um, various things we're going to do with the eggs. Um, was there a spawn function? Yes, there is a spawn function. Okay, so we're going to need that. We need a bunch of this stuff brought over. Okay. Um, start with that list of all eggs and when an egg is created, we add it to the list. When an egg is de is stopped or destroyed or disabled, we're going to remove it from the list. We're going to need uh, Okay, um, what is all the rest of this stuff? We're going to keep track of all the rest of this? Yeah, we are. Let's just copy it. Let's just copy the whole thing and see. And then we'll go through and see if there's anything we can eliminate or any things that need to be public uh, tweakers. Got egg state right here. that in there. Okay, let me make that a vector three. Spawn is going to work in the same way that we do with our other static pools. So we're going to have a public game, game object um, m egg prefab. Well, oh, wait a minute. Can't do that, right? This is the egg. This is the egg. So the egg won't have a public static prefab for that. Egg st 
static and game object maybe game object make egg vector three pos. So so how do you make an egg um, static if I don't have a egg pool, I'm going to need a prefab, and I don't have a prefab. Uh, that means I'm going to be loading a prefab. If null equals s egg pool, I'm going to say make egg pool. Let's do that. I'm going to say And return s egg pool dot uh, allocate pos. Okay, and I need this make egg pool function. What does that do? Static void make egg pool. We're going to need to get ourselves a prefab for the egg. So, game object egg prefab equals resources dot load egg egg. Oh, what's the problem? Yeah, it's load what? Game object? We grab ourselves an egg prefab out of there, and we say s egg pool equals object pool dot get egg prefab comma one hundred. Okay, that'll go and get us the prefab automatically, so I don't have to fill in the prefab or anything. Asking for an egg should ask for the egg pool. The egg pool doesn't exist. We're going to create it. We're going to go and get ourselves a prefab specifically for it. And so that's that. I just now need a prefab for the egg. And it needs to be in resources. I don't have a resources folder yet. I'm going to fix that right now. Resources. Uh, and that's telling me Another thing, I'm putting the eggs in the resources folder, um, and so I don't want the egg sprite to live in the same atlas as the rest of the sprites. So I'm going to remove egg from that, and I'm going to make a new a new sprite atlas. for the eggs. Um, I just put eggs. Okay, and we'll put okay, one thing in there. And that's going to be for the eggs. Okay, there's the eggs now in their own atlas. Because the, the egg itself is going into the resources folder and that'll pull in this atlas into the resources folder. So I want to keep that minimal for now at least. Okay, so there's our egg spawn function. Well, let's just say when you take damage, spawn an egg. Let's just start with that. Uh, when you take damage, that's in here. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say egg.spawn uh, transform.position one. Boom. Oops, I wasn't done with the egg code yet. There's a whole bunch of errors left in the egg code.
Might have forgot to put the egg script on the prefab. Indeed. <laughs> That's silly. Let's put that on the prefab. And go again. Boom. There's an egg, ladies and gentlemen. I made an egg. Boop. Boop. Okay. A couple other tweaks I want to do. The egg pool. Uh huh. I'm going to do don't destroy on load. Don't destroy on load the egg pool. Keep that around. Uh, okay. And why don't the eggs fall? They should have an update. They do. And position, we do some stuff. Velocity plus equals gravity times dt. What did you set gravity to? 150. Uh-huh. Did I forget to? Yes, I did. Of course I did. I forgot to at the end of all of this to transform position equals pause. I'm going to say that gravity is a little large. The scale of this game is different from the scale of the original. So my rule of thumb here is to divide everything by 90. Okay, so 160 divided by 90. That's about 1.8 here. Okay, and gravity is an acceleration. Mean I need to divide it twice? No. 1.7. Boom, boom, boom. They're going backwards. They're going backwards. Going backwards because, right, my y axis goes up. The old y axis went down. Uh, gravity, where was this? Okay, we're going to reverse the gravity, the up speed, pop up, that'll be backwards. The pop up speed will be, I want the Y to be positive. Uh huh. All right, and then we're going to need to tune that up speed. Seems like that up speed's not fast enough. Oh no, that's good. Give me the egg. Pick up my eggs yet. So there we go. We've got eggs. Um, I do want to maybe set up a warm up. Um, as long as I'm thinking about it, I've got this. The, the one thing that kind of bugs me about this whole pool situation is that the pool is only going to be created when we spawn the first egg. We're going to want to pre-warm that as soon as the level starts. I'm just going to make this public. OK, um, at some point in the future, uh, I'm going to be able to pre-warm the, um, the egg pool by just calling this. Uh, and that's going to be a consistent problem throughout all of my pools that I need to set up. Something's going to need to bootstrap these. I mean, I'm, I'm going to want a scene manager, maybe that game manager that I currently have as part of the booting up process. Uh, maybe that'll become the ultimately the one that does all the bootstrapping. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'll take that on later on when I get to it, uh, when I get to any kind of concept of scene flow. All right, what am I going to do now? Um, I've got a collision on the eggs. Which layer should this be? I could just put it on the player layer, but I don't want it on the player layer, I don't think. But I'm going to put it on the egg layer. Let's get an egg layer. Add layer, egg. All right. 
as an egg layer now. And if I go to Project Settings Physics 2D, that means um, the, the, the egg layer will only interact with players and player bullets. Enemies don't hit them, and enemy bullets don't hit them. With my little hit points component is to make a custom hit points version, custom component for hit points that will pass the damage information up to the egg. Um, as silly and tedious as that is, that's where we've landed. Egg hit points is hit points. And the functions we need to override are going to be start damage message and explode. Okay, we now need this egg damage message, which we had here. Copy that and throw that into the egg. So it's not an override now. Let's say hit points dot damage return. Hit points dot hit type. I don't have the Steam Manager. And it's a hit points dot damage return. Hit points dot damage return. Okay. Boom, boom. Extra space. Okay. All right. And now egg hit points needs to be put on the egg. owner uh, and owner damage it does not look like we're able to shoot them let's see I might have forgotten to put the egg onto a layer did I put it on the layer I did not Egg layer. Still not working. Let's take a look at the egg layer interactions. The player bullet is hitting egg, right? That's egg right there. The player bullet is hitting egg. Eggs don't need to hit each other. Forgot to put a rigid body on the egg. Totally forgot. The, the bullets are triggers. Eggs need rigid body 2D kinematic. Go. And now we can juggle the eggs. Boink, 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 boink. I also want to pick up the eggs, so uh, we'll put that in the egg script. Let's see if we can pick up eggs now. Give me those eggs. Give me the, give me, give me the egg. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't work with kinematic objects. Okay. Did not know that. So we'll need to 
set well we're going to need to set the uh, yep we're going to use a dynamic and gravity to zero because we don't want any gravity on these things so it's dynamic with a gravity of zero dynamic with a gravity of zero all this stuff needs to be reset when you recycle something from the pool. Let me see the allocate function. Does it call start on the object? It calls an init function. Triggers don't hit triggers. Triggers only hit rigid bodies. So somebody has to be rigid body. Uh, somebody else has to be a trigger. Um, and now players are bumping into things, bumping into eggs, and like literally bumping into them because I can't make them kinematic. Bit of a nightmare. Bit a bit unfortunate. Um, so how do I disable? You cannot disable the collision on an egg. Um, so we can't use on trigger enter unless something is a rigid body. So I've currently set all of the characters to be rigid bodies and the bullets are triggers, um, which is fine. The bullets then can pass through each other um, and they won't push anything. But does that mean now that the enemies, I've messed this one up, let's fix this one. Yes, and so I had marked everybody as kinematic, but I just discovered that you don't get collision messages on kinematic, uh, on, on kinematic rigid body 2Ds. So that's a bit weak. Um, so I have to set them to be dynamic. I wonder though, um, Let's see here. It doesn't look like I'm really bumping the enemies. Oh, no, I am. Look at that. They're pushing me around. So now they're pushing me, which I don't like at all. I don't want that to happen. What if the egg is dynamic? I'm going to turn off gravity because I'm doing that myself. And the player is kinematic. Um... Okay. Okay, that lets me scoop up the eggs. Does it? Ah. Um. I don't need this. Let's get rid of that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, give me. And then boom, boom, ba doom. Okay, it looks like I can touch the eggs and I can recycle the eggs, but they are not flying to the HUD. Oh, apparently it was done here. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pew. Pew. Okay. Um, pew. Okay, it's supposed to go to the top left corner. I have it going to the bottom left corner. Um, and so that's the last thing I want to fix tonight. Um, on collision is right here. Okay, and this is new vector 3, uh, 0 0.0, 1.0, 0, 0.0. 0.
we'll call it there for tonight. We set up the egg spawner to self-load its own prefab object from the resources folder. Um, you can't just do that from anywhere, but you can do it from resources. So we set that up to, uh, to make the egg pool automatically create itself. Don't have to manually create the egg pool. It will do it from the resources folder. That's the first thing we did there. Uh, and then getting it so that the egg and the shooting and all the, all the physics interacts well was somewhat difficult. In my original project, of course, I did this all manually. I just, I did it all with my own collision routines. Um, and so I could control exactly what touches what and what influences each other. Um, and you get some baggage when you use someone else's physics system for this. Um, that was a bit unfortunate, um, but we managed to make a workaround for it all. Where we stand right now is that eggs do have a rigid body. Um, players also have a rigid body, and we set the player to be kinematic so that it will not be pushed around by the eggs, but the... Um, but the, the eggs are not kinematic, so that they do send a message. We saw that if you make them both kinematic, you don't get a message. They act like triggers in that case, um, in that way. Okay, so that's all set and done. That's eggs. Um, and I'm going to call it. It's all, all told tonight, been an hour and a half. Um, I will edit this down to a small amount of time. Uh, but if you're keeping score, it took an hour and a half to get the eggs to work uh, to the extent that they do. We still don't have eggs popping out from the enemy. We don't have any enemies spawning from the eggs. We don't have eggs up in the HUD um, or acting as your, as your hit points. So all that's still to do.